Hello everyone, Gabriel Durham, back again for the eighth video in the home series, brought to you by the UH Office of Sustainability. Now that it's been eight weeks of doing these videos, times they are a-changing. So some of you might be going back to work, some of you might still be under stay-at-home orders, depending on where you are in the country or what your job looks like. Uh, but that doesn't mean it's not a, still a great time to be thinking about sustainability as we rejoin the new normal. Uh, whether you're at home or going out into the world. Uh, you might have noticed from these videos that a lot of sustainability covers things that have to do with consumption. Uh, the energy we consume in our homes for our appliances, the food we consume, uh, the goods we consume to then put in our lawns. Uh, what we buy and what we consume and how we consume it really is one of those key indicators of sustainable behavior and sustainable economies. So whether you're staying at home or going on out, uh, I wanted to make this video about some of those behaviors you can carry on into this new normal. So let's uh, dive right in. In general, reducing your consumption is one of the best things you can do for your own budget, for your health, and for the planet as a whole. Uh, so for example, one thing you can do is unplug all of your electronics. If they are at home and you're not using them. Uh, even if a lamp is not turned on, if it is plugged into the wall, it is still using electricity. Uh, so that ups your bill, that consumes more coal or more uh, petroleum byproducts, which means more emissions. So if you're not using it, just unplug it from the wall. It's, you don't have to change anything about your electricity plan or your own behavior, and it's a quick way to reduce your consumption of electricity. Vice versa, buying a handkerchief or some type of small towel that you can keep with you on all times to replace tissues, uh, paper towels, things like that. Not only are you saving money by not having to purchase paper towels at the store once a week, uh, but you're also protecting the environment by reducing consumption of trees. And you have a really cool um, handkerchief that you can use for all of your paper needs. You can get it monogrammed even if you like to give that extra sense of pride while you're doing this uh, change in behavior. Another thing to consider would be blackout curtains for a room like this that has a lot of natural light in it that might get hot in the day. Uh, you can put those blackout curtains on while you're gone to reduce the temperature in the home to reduce your AC consumption. Uh, obviously, another alternative would just be getting used to a slightly warmer home, maybe raising your AC temperature by a degree or two, but if that's not something you're interested in doing, a quick fix without any change in behavior is just to get some blackout curtains. Uh, and again, vice versa, if you're spending a lot of your money at home on lighting your home, uh, potentially switching over to natural light instead of curtains uh, could be something. So you can go both ways, depending on your needs, but both of those activities greatly reduce your energy consumption and can save your pocketbook. A few more examples would be things like shopping at secondhand stores. Uh, fashion is fantastically wasteful in this world and there is more than enough clothes to go around. So you should only buy new if you absolutely have to. Otherwise, check out some uh, secondhand stores. They can get you some really good uh, fits, some really good uh, retro stuff, whatever you're into, and you know in your heart that you're not contributing to any new things being made, new microplastics, more trees being cut down, cotton farms, all that kinds of stuff. Um, another one that I like to do as a last final example is I sweep my house instead of vacuuming it. I love to use any kind of hand tools I can because sweeping uh, instead of vacuuming means I'm not using electricity uh, and also I'm using my own muscles and my own energy. So it's keeping my body healthy, my mind clear. I like to meditate while I sweep and make it a whole uh, body experience while cleaning my home while not using any natural resources whatsoever. Only my own good old human energy. So when you go out into the world, whether you're uh, rejoining uh, the rest of the outdoor world or working at home like me, uh, think about consumption. Think about ways that just reducing it not only saves you more money, but is actually saving the planet because really what's hurting right now is overconsumption. So uh, hope to see you again next week. Uh, we'll keep these going as long as we can throughout the summer and I hope you're still finding them helpful. So good luck everybody as we rejoin this new normal.